This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hi, I'm Susie Sun. Here's what's happening around the Southland right now. Attempted kidnapping alert. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says these men tried to drag a teenage girl into a car as she walked home from Apple Valley High School on Monday. The girl fought back and got away. Well, the men were driving a red Dodge Charger with four doors and dents or scratches on the front bumper. If you happen to recognize the car or the men, you're asked to contact the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. Several media outlets are suing to learn more about the F FBI's hack of San Bernardino shooter Syed Farouk's iPhone. They want to know who did the hack and how much that person or company was paid. The FBI has refused to release that information. Well, long lines outside Apple stores this morning when the iPhone 7 went on sale in Pasadena. Fans camped out overnight hoping to score a 7 plus in jet black. But they were out of luck, unfortunately. The store was already sold out. A 17-year-old with a rare form of cancer can now cross this off his bucket list. Simon Jones traveled from Nebraska to Newport Beach to go jet boarding and jet packing. He says he wants to inspire others going through a similar health battle. Next up on Simon's bucket list, rock climbing in Colorado and hiking the Grand Canyon. Get up close and personal with hundreds of butterflies at the LA County Natural History Museum in Exposition Park. A new exhibit with an enclosed outdoor habitat open today. 25 different butterfly species now have room to fly around and there's even a chance one will land on you. We're told you'll have a better chance of that if you wear bright clothes or perhaps a hat. And for the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Tonight's guests are actor John Slattery, director Oliver Stone, and comedian John Fish. Watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert tonight at 1135 on CBS 2. Getting a look at our seven day microclimate forecast. Temperatures heating up big time as we head into the weekend. Elevated fire danger expected as well as we head into your Saturday and Sunday. Triple digit heat staying hot at least through the first part of next week, but cooling by the end of your work week. LA Rams fans are counting down to the team's first regular season home game on Sunday. Tailgating is only allowed in the designated Exposition Park lots on the South Lawn and State Drive. Now, only clear bags the size of a grocery bag or smaller will be allowed into the stadium, and Metrolink will offer special train service for just $10 round trip. And you can get yourself ready for Sunday's game by watching Rams on 2. That's our officials. Coaches Show featuring our Jim Hill and Rams head coach Jeff Fisher. It airs every Saturday at 6.30 on our sister station CBS2. And don't forget, CBS2 is the official home of the Rams here in Southern California. A former Rams star and Hall of Famer Eric Diggerson put smiles on the faces of young patients at Providence Tarzana Medical Center when he visited them. Diggerson took selfies with the kids and signed autographs. He also delivered toys to the kids during his visit. And that's your CBSLA.com news brief. CBSLA.com is where we are always on. Follow us on social media. We are CBSLA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And click Listen Live to hear KNX 1070 News Radio and our other stations anywhere you are.